Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys. Um, I want to talk some 90s hip hop. I want to talk about one of the albums that I grew up listening to as a youngin growing up in Oakland, California. And this was one of my favorite albums. This album was released in 1991, if I'm not mistaken. And this album is second to none and it's self-titled, basically second to none. This this album was entirely produced by DJ Quick. And I think this is one of the albums right here that established uh, DJ Quick as a A-list producer, you know, because, um, yeah, DJ Quick, man, he could make some heat, though, you know. I kind of laughed, though, because there was this thing with DJ Quick. DJ Quick, um, man, he was he was a really good producer, man. He produced for um, a lot of people, man. He produced for Snoop Dogg. He produced for um, Corrupt, you know, um, Corrupt Snoop Dogg. So he was a very underrated uh, producer. Now, Second and None released this album on Profile Records. Now, in case you guys didn't know, they didn't go on to release another album with profile records i think till 1999 i know that they tried to put out an album on death row and you know due to complications and you already know why obvious reasons they wasn't allowed to put out the album the album i think was called the shit they didn't release the tracks i think till like the late 90s but uh, they had that track called I Didn't Mean to Turn You On. I know that uh, they tried to get them off their contract with uh, Profile Records. And I heard a lot of bad things about Profile Records. It was funny. Um, I had met Second and None at DJ Quick at the Gavin Report in San Francisco, California. That was like a music seminar that they used to have um, every year. I think they had one in 1990, 1991, 1992, and I think 1993. And I went to at least three of them, if I'm not mistaken, me, my brother, and my cousin. It was pretty cool, man. A lot of rappers out there, man, um, promoting their stuff. So I met a lot of rappers, man. I had met the college boys and uh, Second to None and stuff. So it was really cool meeting uh, Second to None, man. But the album was fire, man. You know, they um, uh, their first release was a song called Be True to the Game, dope track. Then they put out If You Want It. And um, I think they had a single called Let the Rhythm Take You. If I'm not mistaken, they had a video to that featuring AMG, man. And like I said, man, the album was fire. Uh, they had a song called More Than a Player, um, sampled the Al Green song, Love and Happiness. But my favorite song on the album was this song called What's, What Goes Up. They sampled the Blood, Sweat and Tears song, uh, Spinning Wheels. And... I got to tell you, that song by Blood, Sweat, and Tears, um, Spinning Wheel, that is that song is like bananas. I mean, that song got like <laughs> so many breakdowns in that song. It doesn't really have a full chorus. I'm talking about just throughout the song, uh, the band is just like breaking it down, you know. So, But it's still a dope song, man. Uh, that song was sampled by Third Bass as well. So, um, yeah, man, it was a real underrated album, man. It was a it, it's a classic album, man. You can still listen to this album to this day. Love listening to Second and Nine's uh, debut album coming straight out out of the city of Compton, the CPT. You know, and they was part of that. Uh, they was part of that Team Red. You know, they was you know they was part of the uh, you know Team Red. But you know they was some cool cats, man. And um, you know when I had the opportunity to meet them, they showed me a lot of love them and dj quick one thing about me if you cool with me you know uh for the most part you got my complete loyalty that's just real talk but i highly recommend that you listen to this album and people slept on this album i wish it would have sold more records and you know at the end of the day they didn't get a lot of rotation on the mtv uh you know mtv raps um rap city you know you know, um, probably the local, uh, local music outlets, video outlets probably would play them. But I got hit to uh, second and none via jukebox, video jukebox. You know, that's where I really got put on game to act like second and none because, like I said, they didn't get very much radio play. You know, KMEL would play them a little bit, but they wasn't in heavy rotation. So I just got to keep it real. But, um, like I said, man, 
um, this was like the essence of 90s hip hop, you know, like I said, so much variety, you know, um, just versatility, uh, good music, good lyrics. Uh, I mean, you had everything back then. So, you know, I really missed the, the 90s, though, because like I said, that was the golden era of hip hop. So just keeping it real. It's your boy Town Biz, man. I'm out.